so I wanted to just do a short video um, just talking about all the things that are going on with uh, George Floyd and the like not the revival of the Black Lives Matter but like just the increase in the uproar you know what I mean that's kind of been happening and what I wanted to really talk about was why it matters like not just like why Black Lives Matter but like why caring about such things matter because I've come across people who like just did not just don't care nor do they and like they don't care to even try to understand or they don't understand why it matters or why they should care about certain things or should care about their act how their actions affect people or should care about in the emotions of anybody else um so i mean in general everyone knows what's going on around now but if you're looking back in time uh <laughs> So yes, uh, just a quick synopsis for those who are in the future. Um, so what happened, what had happened was during the pandemic in Minneapolis, just in summary, uh, basically a cop was recorded um, having his knee on the, on the like, back of the neck of a guy pinned down and people were yelling, hey, he can't breathe, let, up, uh, let off of him so he can breathe the guy and eventually the cop ended up killing the guy from just applying pressure to the back of him and not letting him, like, give, uh, letting up to allow him to breathe. And he ends up killing this black guy. Um, so, but people were telling him to get up. It was recorded. All that happiness. All right, unhappiness, sorry. <laughs> All that happiness is just my phrase. We'll, we'll, it's not going to change anytime soon. But, um... Yes, now that, that's a quick synopsis. Uh, and then a few days after people start protesting, then eventually the guy uh, is getting fired and got fired, and then going to court. But we don't, know. as of uh, June 3rd, 2020, this moment, we have no idea if he's going to be actually convicted of murder. But he has been fired from the police department. There's been uh, riots, there's been peaceful protesting that turned into riots. And all that, just quick synopsis, not all the information you need, but just something to base off what we're gonna have a conversation about. And so, yeah, I just wanna talk about why it matters. You know what I mean? Just from a biblical standpoint of why it matters. Not gonna talk about the history of all the, um, just racial racism, history, all that stuff. You can go to plenty of other places to find that plenty of other places to find we're going to talk about too but we're talking we're going to talk more of the christian spiritual side of why things matter why it matters to care about the afflictions of others why it matters to care why it matters to care about your actions and that make sure not to harm others you dig why other people's lives matter um i guess since i've been talking i'll, I'll keep talking so Yes, question. Why does it matter? Well, if we go back, there's, there's quite a bit of answers, but go back to the beginning in the Bible. God made uh, humans in his image, and we're supposed to, you know, worship, we're supposed to love God, worship God, you know what I mean? And like revere him. And then like, but if you defame or damage something in the image of like, like burning the American flag is showing disrespect to America. Although Americans do it, but we're, we're not a united entity. We should be, but anywho, but like, it's just like harming and not caring about creatures made in the image of God is like burning the American flag. You're disrespecting God. And sure, like, oh, I don't care about God. But if you did care about God and that love, you know what I mean, that he shows one aspect of why it matters is because you're disrespect, you're defaming the all-powerful, all-loving, and creator of all things. Do you have anything to talk about on that topic, that, like, specific point, Warren, or? 
talking about like uh, talk about how Jesus said to love our neighbor as ourselves. As, unless you're going to get to that point, that's all. Like basically, your lips were moving, but I didn't hear any words. Oh, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I was going to talk. I was saying how uh, how Jesus said to love our neighbors as ourselves. Like how we're supposed to, as Christians, we're supposed to show love, and God wants us to show love to everyone. And doing something like this clearly doesn't show love. Yes. Um, I don't want to go too far because it's just a short synapse. We're going to go deeper on on our actual bigger podcast. Just want to talk about something quick. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we're going to have to wrap it up before we go on to like our hour long one. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yes, uh, another reason why it matters, why do so you have any other reasons why it matters? Because I, I feel like we're going to go too far. Uh, I don't want to go too far because yeah. we're going to do this bigger later. It's because uh, we're all gods. That's not like we're all gods. We're God's people, <laughs> like his creation. Not we're God, but we're God's creation. That's pretty much what you said. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. So. Just short why it matters that we talk about here is because God created us all in his image and we're supposed to respect God's image or respect God and all his creations that he created that he loves and we're supposed to show love to those things as well so that is one short biblical reason but we're going to talk more deeply into like more personal reasons of why it matters later when we'll have a special guest as well so uh, thank you for listening. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah. So we love you. We pray that you love the you love others and you learn to grow and teach love to others. Um, just conti- hopefully continue to grow and learn to love. That's what's really going to solve this racial issue the human issue is learning to love one another despite any differences yes more to say about that when we have our yeah more to say about that all right love y'all peace